Hey guys, so the last step in our virtual week together is going to be to set ourselves up in Soundtrap. Now, Soundtrap is a free music mixing um, software. It's web-based, so it runs on our Chromebooks. It does have premium and op premium options, uh, but we're not going to need to use them for this class, uh, and I don't recommend it uh, unless you're really, really, really into it, in which case, by all means, go for it. Um, but what we're going to do is you're going to set yourself up in Soundtrap. Here it is. It's a great, great, great um, bit of, of technology here. Um, you're going to utilize your school email to create your account. Um, once you have created that account, it, it's a very typical uh, account creation process, right? There's no uh, tricks. It's just I'm signing up for a new account. Use your school uh, email and then you go. Um, once you get there, you're going to create, uh, you're going to enter a studio. All right, so I'm going to just show you a little bit what the studio looks like. There is no assignment that is attached to this other than creating your account, um, which will take about five minutes. But I would also encourage you to, ah, we don't need that. Uh, I would encourage you to play around a little bit with this because this software is fantastic. Um, so we're going to make music. Uh, there are demos. When you are in class with me in person, we will look at those demos together. Um, but that's not for a few weeks. So um, I want to just kind of do this with you a little bit. So I'm going to browse some loops. And I'm going to play around a little bit. Uh, let's see what we got. So let's do bass. Now we'll set it with drums. So as we move through here in my... Um, oh, look, I can move it. Fabulous. Uh, my face was in the way. Let's let's choose something. So what's this sound like? So you listen to it. And uh, eh, I don't really like it. How about this one? That's cool, right? So we're gonna take this, and so if I like it, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna drag it into this field. I'm lagging a little bit because it, it doesn't like doing the simulcast. So then it's all here, it's ready to roll for me. Let me stop that. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is let's add in um, like a bass line. And if you notice, you see these little um, orange markers. Unfortunately, that is part of, part of the premium package. Um, so you won't have access to them. You can, by all means, listen to them. But we don't have access to them with the free version. So you're going to have to find the things that are free. Um, there are lots of them. Let's see what this is. Hmm. So I'm going to drag that there. And then I, now I've created this song. Let's listen. Not bad, right? So just using some pre-made uh, loops. Let's add one more thing in. Uh, let's do some synth. Now, you know what? Let's do piano instead because it sounds better for what we need. I like that. So let's put that here. And you notice that I'm staggering these by different measures. And let's see what I made just in a minute here. And obviously, it's not going to be the best thing that you've ever heard in your life because I just made it in 10 seconds. Uh, but just kind of playing around and understanding what the stuff is. Right. So by playing around with this stuff, you're going to get a, a good like hands on experience. In fact, my favorite way to learn any new application is to literally just play with it. Uh, and so my recommendation to you and your only assignment getting into Friday is to create your account is to then play around with it. Look with it, uh, mess with it, see what you find. Um, and then when we come back together and we're working on this stuff in person, we'll get like a 
hands-on demo. So uh, 